Let us consider a rectangular membrane. In this case we have uh, side length A and B uh, and the um, wave equation in two dimension takes this form where C square is equal to the tension capital T over um, the density rho. The displacement u is zero on the boundary, so the boundary is fixed. And we have information about the displacement at t equal to zero, the initial displacement, ux or y zero. And we call this um, initial deflection f of x, y. Moreover, we call the initial velocity g of x, y. So the velocity in, uh, at uh, the starting point is given. Um, we are not going so much into details, but we are just mentioning that uh, in order to find solutions um, of this problem, we start by using the, the method of uh, separation of variables. So uh, we uh, split the solution uh, U into capital F and G, where F is a function of the spatial coordinates only, and uh, uh, G is only a function of the time T. So uh, differentiating and inserting in this wave equation, we obtain this equation. And uh, by, by um, dividing with uh, um, uh, several functions here, we obtain this equation. And this is very similar to what we have done earlier. Um, so we obtain two equations, one equation in, in T, and another equation only in x and y, the spatial coordinates. This equation is called the Helmholtz equation. In order to solve this Helmholtz equation, we uh, just uh, use the method of separation of variables once more. We um, split this function f of x, y into a pure function of x multiplied with a pure function uh, of um, y. Uh, then, by differentiating and inserting into this uh, Helmholtz equation, we obtain, uh, similarly as above, two equations. One equation in x and another in y. So, this is a little bit more complicated than in the one-dimensional uh, case. Um, so, Let's not go so much into detail, but show you the result. Uh, if we put lambda, lambda m, n, where m and n is uh, integer values, um, equal to this uh, expression, c pi, the square root of, of uh, this sum. Um, and putting... Um, um, now we see the the function the the solution of this problem. We call it u x y t, and it's uh, it's dependent on the integer values m and n, and um, it's given by this expression. So, uh, and this expression is also called an uh, uh, eigenfunction. So we are doing the, exactly the same as we uh, do in the one-dimensional case and um, after finding these uh, candidates of solutions we sum them, we, we take the infinite sum, um, but in this case we have a double series. Uh, these eigenfunctions uh, 
uh, are possible to describe and um, here you see the case when n uh, m is equal to 2 and n equal to 1. Uh, so this is just a, a situation for a given t um, and we see that this is the node points. All points on the red uh, line uh, is not moving. The only points which are not moving in the in the rectangle. And here we see the no, no, uh, node points. Here we see the no, node points when we sum two such um, two such eigenfunctions. And this eigenfunction um, means is a situation we get when m is equal to 1 and n is equal to 2 and so on. So we get different type of eigenfunctions and these are possible to um, uh, we can sum, th sum them take the infinite double sum of um, these eigenfunctions and w then we can hope uh, for getting the the complete solution, general solution of um, the rectangular membrane. So by um, by inserting values, uh, the the value f of x y, which was the initial displacement, uh, we are able to find the the explicit. Um, formula for these coefficients b m n and b m n star in the following way.